Hi guys, it's me and I thought I would take you on my journey of how I do one of my oil paintings. I've already done one before and it was me as Anna Cleves. Um, and I really love doing that one. So this one is actually a commission and I just thought I'd take you on the journey with me. And so you can see all the ups and downs of painting. So the first thing I do is get my canvas and then I sketch out the picture. So now that my initial sketch is done, I am going to, if I can open it, start putting down some base colours on here. So some blocking the colour in. So as you can see here, what I'm doing is using a pencil to mark out the folds and the creases in the fabric. So I'm doing that on top of my block colour just so I can see where I need to put the shadows. And then I'm taking a darker shade of the one that I've put down and I am painting in the shadows. As you will later see, I wasn't a huge fan of what I was doing here. So I decided to wipe it off and start again. But um, it's just giving it a basic idea of where the shape's going and seeing what it is you're doing. And uh, the sleeves on this um, painting, they're so turned over and creased and it was really difficult to actually work out where I need to put the shadows. But there you can see I'm just wiping it off and uh, I'm going to have another go um, later. So as you can see, second attempt at the sleeves. Still not 100% sure I like them. I'll come back to it. It's evolving and it all changes. And the beauty with oils is you can wipe it off and start again it hasn't dried so what I'm doing is I am taking a dark brown on a flat brush little brush and just uh, stroking it over to give the impression of fur so dark brown around the edges and flicking it and then a light brown in the middle and that just again gives the impression of fur. So as you can see this is what it looks like so far. So. That was my dog, I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. So I started on this sleeve again and it's completely different to what the actual reference picture is because I was struggling a lot with that so I decided to have some artistic license and creativity and do my own kind of fabric. And so I've painted over um, the second sleeve and I'm going to let that dry and then following what I did with this one, take some artistic license and make it up. Right, so I'm going to apologise for my lack of recording for the little things I'm doing, but it has changed quite a bit since the last time you saw it. So I have redone both sleeves. I'm happier with how they look. Um, I've also done this sleeve now. This sleeve is heavily um, embroidered. So I went and I got some paint markers to try and um, paint it on but it didn't work the markers just wouldn't stick to the oil paint so what I had to do was down here I kind of took the gold out of it and then I would just dip the fine point into the gold and then draw it on so such a hassle but I think I'm getting there so now I'm going to start on the face So this is what it looks like after working on the face for a day. So this is what it looks like so far. I also did the hands, I'm not 100% you know, equipped to paint hands. I've tried my best, I might add a few more little bits to it. But mostly I focused on the face and this was the palette that I 
creative, so there's lots of different tones in there, lots of different colours. But yeah, I think I'm going to move on to the gold chain and then come back to the face once it's dried because this gentleman actually has stubble, so I need to work out how to apply that and do it well. <laughs> so here we are after I've done some detailing. As you can see, the gold thick necklace, I guess. I have done that and then I've done some detailing up the middle part there. Again, the gold paint pen broke, so I was halfway through doing the torso and then it stopped working. So I'm going to need to think of a different way to get the gold onto there. But otherwise, um, yeah, we're making good progress. Okay, so a lot has happened since I last videoed. I'm really sorry. It's very helter-skelter in the sense that I just paint. I forget to pick up my camera and record. But yeah, I've done the background, I've done the hat. And what I'm doing now is just adding in some shadows for his shirt that's peeping through in the traditional Tudor clothing. So I'm just adding some shadows on there and then I'm going to do some final touches.